In this video, we're going to take this slide and turn it into something nice and inspiring for your presentations. So what I'll do in this video is first, I'll break down the existing slides, look at the components we have and how I would sort of approach this project. And then we're going to look at a redesigned version and I'll do a little bit of a breakdown of what I've done and my thought process behind it. So here we can see the current slide. And the main thing that jumps out is that we have two large parts. So first we have the text on the left side and then we have a large, nice image on the right side. This is about a financial app. So we have the benefits of our finance app and then we have a large body text. But if we look closely, we can see three parts. So we can see a little subtitle here and some body text and that repeated three times. But if we put it close together like this, it looks like one large block of text. So it's not very interesting to look at. And I think a lot of people might skip on reading the content. Then we have the image on the right here. What I like is that they put the image quite large on the screen. So it's covering a big part of the screen. But if we look closely at the image itself, it's mainly about the application. And that if you compare to the size of the image, it's only taking like a small part of it. So it's like a very little part that is actually about a product while it still takes up a little bit more than a third of the slide. So we want to work around with that. Overall, I also don't see too much branding. So I'm going to add a little bit of color to this design to also make it stand out a bit more. And here we can see the redesigned version that I've made. The first thing that jumps out is that image, I would say. So we're not using the standard image, we're using a little bit of a mock-up. And that means that we have this screenshot of the slide. So I took a random one, I didn't have the access of the original files, but I took a screenshot of a financial application that looked like it. And then I put it into a hand holding a phone. So this instantly makes it feel more realistic. And that's what we want to achieve with those images. We want to show our products or our services in the most realistic way as possible. What I've done next is the slides or the, the text itself. I sort of split it up a little bit. First thing I've done is I've changed the title a little bit. That doesn't really matter. I called it launching our financial app, but I played around with the colors. So I have this white on top and then this keyword financial application. If that's the new part, I highlighted it with a darker tone. So it stands out from the rest of the text. And then the body text, we kept the same text, but we gave it a bit more breathing room. So in between each of the blocks, we've added some more breathing room. So it's like the proximity principle. So we create some contrast between those and that makes it feel like they belong together, or at least the title and the body text belong together. And that repeated three times. Also in the fonts, I've added a little bit more weight to the titles and a little bit less weight to the body text. So as well there, we have that visual hierarchy of importance. Now to really guide our eye, what I've done in a very subtle way is I've added two circles in the background behind that mock-up. So you can see it very light. I'm not sure if the contrast really comes through here, but I try to add those circles in transparency. So they're a little bit more filled in the middle and then they get more transparent towards the outside. And that sort of draws our eye in towards that image, towards that picture that we have. And that's what we want to achieve. So I think if we compare it to the previous version, we can say that we've made this slide a little bit more interesting. And this is a very standard slide, which doesn't really jump out. It's also not that memorable. And if we compare that to the next version again, I think this one will grab the people's attention more, especially if it's in a deck with all white slides and you want to jump out a little bit. This color contrast, that nice image, I think it will stick to the audience a lot more. So I hope you liked this redesign. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you want to master these principles yourself, we've seen a lot of the principles, but really want to go in depth. I have an entire program available that teaches you all the fundamentals you need to know. So you can turn any slide that you have and know exactly what to do with it to create like an impactful slide. And that is the key fundamental, the understanding that you need to know. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description below.